Hello everyone, this is Bryant. Welcome back. In this video, you're going to learn about Red Hat OpenShift in less than 10 minutes by installing an interactive game of Duck. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is a Red Hat OpenShift? OpenShift is an open source container application platform based on the Kubernetes platform. It is the most widely used Kubernetes platform by enterprises. So let's look at the purpose of this video. Learning something new can always take quite an effort. And learning Red Hat OpenShift is no exception as it has a significant learning curve. However, that's not meant to say it is easy to get started if you know how. I want to focus on lowering the beginner learning curve as much as possible by deploying an interactive and fun game of OpenShift in less than 10 minutes with no previous knowledge whatsoever. Here are some prerequisites and what you're going to see. Prerequisite. You have access to OpenShift with at least a developer privilege. You have an access to computer with the network connection and possible browser. And you know how to learn basic commands, copy and paste, etc. What you're going to see. You will deploy an awesome interactive game of a duck in OpenShift in less than five minutes. From 10 minutes, five minutes might be just a waiting and installation time. So for this demo, we're going to use the following GitHub URL. This is based on the MIT license, so we are free to use it or modify it. Make sure to fork the URL and then use that. So in a case, if you want to modify further, you can do so. So here's our OpenShift. I'm logged in as a regular developer user. So from the top left corner, I can change from administrator to developer view. This developer view really gives us a nice intuitive interface. And if you were using this for the first time, it also gives step-by-step -step option. So you can kind of explore different options in OpenShift, which is really nice. So I if in topology view, which we'll come back to later, it gives nice options here, but we will select the project this time because we are interested in creating a new project. So we will clearly click uh, create a new project. We give it some name, we're gonna call it a duck game uh, lowercase, and then display name, we give some description about this project. This is a simple demonstration of how cool and easy OpenShift can be. Again, the description can be whatever you want, but just give it some nice description. This is for um, your purpose to, you can still identify project later on. So we're gonna create. So when you create the first time, it already give a nice, inter a nice interactive dashboard and nice intuitive dashboard. And it has a concept of inventory, which has a different resources that OpenShift will create. So, here also get some detail. Some of them are what you provided earlier, but there are some other like annotations which is created for you. Now we will go back to topology view and there are different options to create your application. For example, there are some sample and there's container images and from Docker file, etc. etc. But we want to use a Git because we want to use a GitHub URL that we forked earlier. So we'll paste the URL. And there are some other advanced option. So if you want to do that, that's all available. So by default, it automatically detect Node.js, and which is really, really nice. But if you want to select other program runtime, you can. Here's our base images, which is a secure Node.js from the Red Hat registry. And you can change some default option like resources and other advanced option. And we will select create a root which is external URL. The project is getting deployed and you'll see this nice um, looking icon. When you click it, it will give different options to explore resources, etc. So you can see the detail, which you give the pod that scales from zero to one. and some other details and resources give like build configuration and services. When you click build, you will see the op, um, process that get pulled from source code 
in Git, and then also combine it with um, Node.js image to create a package, which can be deployed to the server. So in OpenShift, building process is a separate from the deployment process based on 12-factor app uh, principle. So um, this building process can take a little while because the putting the source code and combining can be quite a long uh, process. But nice ways you can monitor the progress in web console. You also have options to use the CLI or command line interface to build your application. So that's another option you have. So once, you, once everything is uh, built and done, you'll see the at the end, you'll see it will push successful message as you can see here. At this point, um, you can kind of go back your topology view and then click and you'll see when you go back to the resource, you will see the pod there. Um, that's going to be deploying pod. Again, the build process is separate from deployment process. So this will actually deploy the packaged um, binary from source to image process and expose the loud to 8080 in this case. So here's an event we have, and you can monitor in this way. And then terminal is nice and interactive with console. You can actually see the files, modify, etc., etc., etc. So here's our, again the view and the loud is external URL we can visit and our application is deployed. Make sure to have some fun and we'll come back to it later. Here's our view again, top forage view. And you can also, there's a simple like a shortcut where you can visit on the top forage icon. And here's our service. Service is OpenShift resource. They kind of connect with the pod internally. So it's different from OpenShift Loud, which is for external. This is a secure way to connect and connect different pod and then act as loaded balancer. So there's a nice separation between what has to be connected internally and externally in OpenShift. Build the config is one they used so earlier, combining the source code with the um, base image, Node.js. So that's a build to build the package. And uh, this is a build config. And when you go to project, also there's a config map which is stores simple environment variables. Here's how to delete the project in OpenShift. You just go to project and there's actions, drop down and just simply delete the project. And then type your project name to confirm. And that's all it takes to delete the project in OpenShift. Really simple. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. And hopefully we can see you again next time. Bye bye.